Yo, what's going down, everybody? It is straight out of Boston here, okay, the King of Boston. Today we're back for episode 56 of the Georgia State Dynasty here on NCAA Football 14. And today we are back for week 10, I do believe, of season 4. We're going up against Mississippi State. We're coming off of a tough loss last week against Auburn, in which we pretty much, I'm not going to say gave away the conference, but it's going to be extremely tough for us to get back to the top of the conference. We came into that game one game behind Auburn in our division. And now we are two games behind and Auburn owns the tiebreaker. So we're effectively three games behind with it's already week 10. It's going to be, it, we would have to really, I mean, probably have to win out and we'd have to have Auburn lose three of their probably last four games. So it that loss really affected us. But now we're playing for second, third place. There's kind of a log jam where we are right now in our division. We are in the West division and um, it's just a bit of a log jam kind of where we are standing and I think that if we can get up to you know second third place we can still get maybe a January bowl game I think that'd be a good goal I mean coming into this year my goal was only just to make a bowl game but now as the season has progressed we're already at six wins I do believe so it you know the goals have progressed a little bit and I'd like to you know maybe make a, a better bowl game than I had originally intended but none, nonetheless we're gonna get right into the gameplay Jeremy Johnson looking over the middle that's gonna be caught short fourth and one coming up we're gonna hand it off to Kyler Neal and Neal gets stuffed right there he loses a yard on the play that's gonna be a turnover on down so Mississippi State takes over Doug Steele is their uh, quarterback he gives it to Shelby Christie on the bubble screen he picks up 22 yards and now second and four Steele's gonna hand it off to his halfback Shumpert not Amon Shumpert this time it is gonna be Ashton Shumpert for a 13-yard pickup. Now, Steele dropping back, looking on the screenplay. It's going to be, this time, another halfback, Shaw, but he's going to lose yards in the play setting at 4th and 14, and that will end up causing a field goal. So 3-0 Mississippi State. We're going deep on our next drive. Tyshawn Clemens is there. He makes the 33-yard grab, the sophomore wide receiver. And now 1st and 10, Jeremy Johnson dropping back out of the shotgun set, looking to his check down there. Kyler Neal is wide open after your Mississippi State sends a blitz. Now 1st and 10, Jeremy Johnson, play action fake. We're going to scramble to the left. No one open in sight. He's going to take off down the sideline, pick up about 8 yards. A nice gain right there for Jeremy Johnson on his legs, or using his legs, I should say. And now a triple read option up the middle, 1st down inside of the 15-yard line now, or at about the 15-yard line, 1st and 10. Another read option, Johnson once again looking up the middle, but he fumbles, recovered by Jefferson and they're gonna rule that one a touchback so Mississippi State takes over take a look at the replay looks like Johnson I I think what actually might have happened is I don't think it was the con or it was the like hit that drove the ball loose but I think I accidentally hit the dive button and you cannot dive with quarterbacks in this game they will fumble like nine times out of ten so anyway Kite Dallas picks up a big sack right there and that would actually force a punt away so we get the ball back it's still three to nothing midway through the second quarter Johnson scrambling to the right side he's gonna pick up a first down 4.30 to play now, time ticking down, 4.04 to play in the second quarter, hand off to Kyler Neal, who has not been able to get it going so far today, but he gets a nice seven-yard carry right there. Now second and three, we're going to give it right back to him on the read option, up the gut, and he's going to get inside of the 40-yard line, a nice pickup once again for Kyler Neal. Play action this time, using the run game to set up the play action, we're going to look to go deep here, Johnson, end zone, almost intercepted, it looks like, I believe that was Justin Wagner, had a beat on the guy, but the guy catches up and almost makes a diving interception. Third down, we try to run a screenplay, get a couple extra yards, get in field goal range. No luck. Fourth and nine, we're still going to go for a field goal. This is 40-something yards, 48 yards, I believe, and it is short. We have not been able to get our kicking game going this year. We do miss Will Lutz, the uh, one, I think it was all-conference last year. But check this out. Auburn loses to Arkansas. So maybe the conference or the division title is not out of our hopes yet or not out of our, I guess, sights, I should say. Because Auburn loses, so now a win today puts us one game back, effectively two games back, like I said. But first, we got to beat Mississippi State. Ashton Shumpert down the left sideline, first down and a lot more on the screenplay. Now Donald Steele dropping back, looking over the middle. Caught. It's going to be his wide receiver for the first grab of the day. And now third and five. Steele handing it off to Ashton Shumpert, but he's going to get stuffed. A big tackle right there from Kite Dallas. Fourth and six coming up, and Mississippi State will have to settle for a field goal. That'll make the game six to nothing. Johnson gets the ball back a minute left to play in the second quarter. We're looking short, and that's intercepted. That was just a terrible decision on my part. I felt the pressure coming, and I just tried to force something in there. Terrible choice. That's all me. I'll take the blame for that one. So Mississippi State gets the ball back. Looking short. Somehow Ross makes that catch, and then breaks Ladarian Young's tackle into the end zone for the, for the score. And Mississippi State is up 13 to nothing. So... We are really struggling on offense right now. Let's see if we can get anything going here to end off the second half, even just get in field goal range, make some sort of, just get something going here. We're looking for Rufus Warren. He, sums, he somehow hangs on. I love Rufus Warren, man. He makes so many tough grabs. 
Just such a good tight end. And now, looking left side, beautiful throw to Justin Wagner, who found himself open. We get inside of the 25 to about the 20. 19 seconds left. We're going to play action. Johnson, he gets sacked right there, so we're going to have to burn our last time out with 16 seconds to play. Third and 18. Johnson drops back. He's looking over the middle, and Kyle Rucker is there. The fullback on the streak route makes the grab. Second and goal. Five seconds left. Johnson, he's looking over the middle. Short, and Paul Walker's there for the score. I decided to go against, just settling for a field goal right there. I really wanted to get seven up on the board. I felt with five seconds left, we could get one quick play in. Paul Walker on the crossing route gets the inter or gets the touchdown so we go into the half down by six 13 to seven how we've played only being down by six i feel pretty good i think we can come out in the second half get something going on offense or defense if it continues to play well i think we'll be in good shape but let's see what happens start of the second quarter 7 15 to play third and eight donald Steele looking tons of time fires it deep and that one is complete antonio huff once again getting burned last year it seemed like it was Antonio Huff stepping in a lot of the time to that number one corner spot to replace guys getting burnt on the end But now it seems like this year Huff is really struggling on the outside But Avery sweeting on the kickoff return inside of the 40 great return finding the hole running straight up through it following his blockers nicely And that gives us great field position second and ten Neil cutting back into the inside on the screen route He picks up the first down a nice ten yard gain 444 to play in the third quarter. We're going to go play, or not play action, but a read option. And Jeremy Johnson picks up seven yards. Looks like he only picked up four or five there, but they rule at seven. So Justin Wagner over the middle on the slant route gets us the first down. Enough first to goal inside of the 10. Handoff Blake Gardner up the middle. And Gardner getting a lot of goal line carries on uh, on the year so far. And he puts another one in the end zone right there. So Gardner gets the score, and we cut the lead back down to six. 336 to play in the third quarter. Still plenty of time to mount this comeback, but we've got to get some defensive stops. Donald Steele looking right side. That's going to be wide open. Shelby Christie is there for the grab now. First and 10, Donald Steele once again dropping back. A lot of shotgun sets for this team so far. And Christie, same route. We switched up our coverage on that play to a zone, but it did not matter. The same route works. And this time, Jamil Spencer gets completely beat right there by Samuel on the coverage. So second and one, empty backfield. Another play. It was really like one of those fake draw plays. And Samuel again beating the linebacker coverage right there. He's having a field day out of the slot right now. And then Hammond over the middle for the score. And Mississippi State puts more points on the board. So once again, they go up by effectively two touchdowns, being down by 13. You're going to need two touchdowns to get back in the game. So next play or next drive. First play of the drive. We're looking deep. And it's Paul Walker wide open. And he's going to break off one for a touchdown. So 27 to 20 is the score. And we're going to be going for two here. Now, the reason is if we get down by five, then a field goal will keep it a one possession game at eight. But we do not convert, so we are down by 7. 27 to 20 is the score. Two minutes to play in the third quarter. Steal up the middle. Nice juke move right there. Picking up the first down. And now one minute to play in the third quarter. Steal this time out of the uh, or under, under center, I should say. Another slant route. Our secondary is no match for these receivers right now. We can't seem to do anything. I tried switching up zone packages, dime, nickel, all that stuff. Nothing seemed to be working. Now Ashton Shumpert up the middle. He gets stuffed right there. So fourth and four coming up, and we actually force a field goal here. So we're only down by 10. And now if we can just get something going on offense, we can get back into this ballgame. 6.25 to play. Walker on the outside. First down. Now third and 10. Johnson looking short. Paul Walker's there, and this was my fault. I really wasn't aware of the down and distance there, so it's fourth and five, and I kind of rush my play selection, and I just make a terrible throw right there. Bad choice. That's going to be an interception. Mississippi State takes over. So third and seven for Mississippi State. Ashton Shumpert gets a carry up the middle. He gets stuffed. Fourth and seven. They're going to go for a long field goal here. Kick is up, and it is short and no good. So we actually effectively just ran some extra time off the clock with that interception, but... Johnson looking deep. He's got a man. It's Justin Wagner down the middle. And he's going to get all the way to about the six-yard line. A huge gain. Second and goal. Read option. Johnson up the gut for the score. And that's going to give us a, or I guess cut the lead down to three. 30 to 27 is the score. 3.53 to play. We need to get a stop. And then we get the ball back. The way our offense is going, we can win this game. Steele looking short. Shumpert. Oh, my goodness. Strickland. Completely missed the tackle right there. So some more time runs off the clock. Third and 11 now. Steal another uh, little screenplay to Ashton Shumpert. He gets stuffed. So fourth and four coming up. And they would end up punting it away. So we get the ball back. Paul Walker left side. That's going to be a first down on the curl route. Now first and 10. Jeremy Johnson looking back. It's going to be a pass to the left side. Caught by Ross Jackson. And now fourth and 10 coming up. Johnson needs a first down here. We're looking short to TechNet, but he gets hit and drops the ball. And that's going to be the game. 12 seconds left to play. And with only one timeout, 
that is going to do it. Technip could not hang on. He made a couple big catches for us a couple weeks ago, but could not hang on there. And we end up taking the loss. Donald Steele, 22 of 22. I mean, that just sums up how terrible our secondary was today. Just, oh, it's god-awful. So, anyway, can't harp on it too much. Jeremy Johnson played all right. A couple turnovers, but I don't know if I would, uh, I guess I could blame him for a couple of them. But, one of just bad choices on my part. Walker had a good day. Wagner found himself open a couple times. I, I liked how our receivers did. Our secondary and defense in general was pretty terrible. But, nonetheless, that's pretty much going to do it. Steele, oh, my goodness, that is embarrassing to get eaten up by a, a Mississippi State quarterback like that. But nonetheless, um, that's going to do it. So we fall to 6-3 and three on the season, and I believe 4-2 and two in conference, I want to say. Something like that. Nonetheless, I right, stop saying that, Ian. Anyway, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Hope you did enjoy. It doesn't matter. Peace.